welcome back to the spider's web and uh, we're going to do another unboxing today and this unboxing is going to be a little bit of a surprise to all of us because even I don't know what's in it it's Mantix Christmas crazy box not a clue what's inside so let's get down to the table and look shall we why not okay so what we have is a cardboard box a white cardboard box that's taped up and that's it so um, let's get inside and see depending on I'm hoping the uh, You open the, the package this the way I'm thinking they have, it looks like they have. Right, as well as this, um, I also ordered um, a, um, a miniature from the Mars Attacks range. So I'm just hoping that's going to be included as well, otherwise it's going to be another one that I'm waiting for. But let's see what's in here. Oh, there we are. And we have I'm not sure this is it's basically a mishmash of all sorts of things from the Mantic range um, so it could be anything at all uh, I think what we might do is just take them out of the bags and have a look. This looks like it could. Be, this is definitely from Kings of War. This looks like the uh, the elves, elven army from Kings of War. The uh, we've got the puma, all the tiger things. And what do we have? Ah, this is the one I ordered. They have put this in as well. It's the Martian dressed as Judge Dredd. Hee <laughs> hee. There he is. The Judge Dredd Martian. Along with two dead soldiers and a dead Martian. We'll have a proper look at these in a bit. Um, and I know I don't collect all of the uh, Mantic range, but I'm just hoping some of the stuff that's in here I can actually use. What do we have here? This looks like more elven stuff. Hmm, more elven stuff by the look of it. All for Kings of War. And then we have. What the hell is that? Oh, it's uh, more beast. The Kings of War. Or possibly not. Well, not Kings of War. Um, it could be. It's not a more beast. It's the um, the sci-fi version of a more of an awkward more beast. Um, from Warpath or Dead Zone. Uh, what's this we have? Ah, it's the dog handler. It's the undead dog hand handler from uh, Kings of War. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic. That's one I can use. What else do we have? Uh, another cavalry piece from uh, Revenant Cavalry from uh, Kings of War. The, ban the standard bearer. I already have one, but... Never mind, we have some accessory sprue pieces from <coughs> uh, the um, Dead Zone. Um, oh, what you may call it? Scenery pack. What else do we have? We have another um, 
sergeant, or the big sergeant for uh, Dead Zone for the Enforcer faction. We have another Martian. She's from Mars at oh, Gold. Drop that one. Drop that one. This is from Mars Attacks and all that. And oh, it's the night. So I'm not sure if these are alternative sculpts or not. So apart from fluffies, that's on the the plastic that's inside. We also get the Kings of War first edition mini rule book. Um, now I'm just looking to see. whether or not anything from here is included in, in pictures in this it doesn't look like it uh, we have more gump the battle zones that's the one I was thinking of with the uh, the accessory sprues that we got another advertising bump with a um, sticker collection thing on there and we have also a poster of the full range of stuff. We have on one side an elf poster in Kings of War. Mm, unfortunately I do the undead, I don't do the elves. There is also half of the back is an orc poster and the other half is showing um, different units, got the werewolves the mummies, um, skeletons, elves, dwarves, and trolls at the bottom there. <coughs> well, that's what I've got in mind. Um, I said the extra piece in this was the Judge Dread model. Um, that is one I've bought separate, and they put it all on together, but. There we go. The one thing I'm really, really pleased about is the skeleton dog handler. So let's get down to the table and we can have open it up and have a proper look. Okay. Hello again. I'm back. Right. Let's have another a proper look at some of these. Well, we have um, starting off our little uh, Martian chappy here. What puzzles me is he doesn't have inside any of the uh, the head, you know, the, oh dear, what you call it, the helmet thing, but never mind. I'm trying to work out, does it look as though he has a respirator on and he doesn't, not a clue. And then we have this character. Um, I think this is one of those new ones from that secret organisation. Nova something or other I think it is. I cannot for the life of me remember. It looks an interesting figure. I'm just going to change my glasses so I can have a, a proper look. Because everything at the moment is blurred as I'm trying to see what I'm looking at. <coughs> Next we have our knight. Is not a re-sculpt. Is just badly bent because he is the one from the original box that I've got. So there's going to be some serious melting going on here uh, before I get around to painting this. But we have the spur knight anyway, and you know what they say. Once a king is always a king. Once a king is always a king, but once a knight is enough. <laughs> but I've got two knights, so there we are. <coughs> um, I also wanted to have a proper look at the Judge Dread um, Martian. 
before we go any further so let's just take him out of the pack there we are I'm just hoping you can see it's all going good I'm going to have to try and now remind myself of the colours I know it's dark blue and gold isn't it something like that it's a long time since I've uh, done any Judge Dread stuff uh, let's start blue green boots green gloves and all the armor's gold why I couldn't just say I'll have a look at the artwork <laughs> on, the, on the front of the box I don't know but <clears throat> and here we have the little helmet from as well so he's got one so I'll keep that to one side and these other two little characters or three little characters here we have two dead soldiers and a dead Martian and obviously the dead Martian is lying like that because he's got the ox he's got these uh, respirator tanks on his back so we can't lie flat <laughs> but there we are <laughs> cracking so that's uh, the Mars attack stuff I'm going to put all these in one box and put them on in this box with the um, for the Judge Dread one because <coughs> I don't want to get them all mixed up. Um, <clears throat> apart from that night, which is going back in my big box for the game, I'll put. Oops! I, I nearly, nearly lost my helmet. I'll, uh, I'll better. And that, yes. As soon as I said that, I know it sounded wrong. <laughs> now. What I want to do is have a look at this fella. This is the dog handler for the undead army. Oh wow. So, there we are. Unfortunately, We don't have um, what should we call it? We don't have a base for this. What's that? That's his helmet. He has a separate helmet. No, should it be a baseball bat? No, baseball bat. A baseball cap. his helmet, he has a long chain for the lead, a really nice spiky collar, the dog is all in one piece and looks much bigger than the ones that um, all the speculation is about, so whether this is a much bigger dog or whether the other ones are actually rats, we don't know, it's a little bit of more lines and flashing and stuff like that on it <coughs> but that will come off quite easily enough um, what I need to do is just melt this a little bit so I can fit the legs into the appropriate areas here um, I'll find I'll I will be basing this in its own little um, in its own little base I'm not sure how it works with other um, what we call it skeleton troops because um, as yet I haven't actually um, found this in the book 
at least I don't think I have, let me just check. I can't find any mention of this in the rule book. I've got the big the hardback rule. I've got the hardback rule book. Um, let's look and see if I can find anything. Uh, skeletons. Um, okay, so nothing said about it. Nothing shown in the book picture itself. Uh, options banner. 15 points, musician for 10 points, Unge undead giant rats or dogs for 30 points each and take spears gaining phalanx for 5 points for troops, 15 points for regiments and 25 points for hordes. Um, now apart from that there is no mention of a dog handler, undead dog handler in this at all. So I'm not quite sure how it works. Hopefully it's not a model that they've done away with. Um, it may just be a case of it's just like a supplementary model. Um, I don't know, but there he is. I quite like him anyway. Um, I will be putting... I'll probably put him on a like um, you know a cavalry base and build up the um, what you call it and build up the um, oh dear lord oh heck build up the base in uh, medium around it so that it looks as though it's all one level I'll probably end up doing that um, but I quite like him. I do. I'll, I, I'll, yeah. I was going to. I know this is available on the uh, for so many mantic points, and I was going to. Um, what should we call it? Um, oh, my head's not working today. Why is my head not working today? I was going to save up for the mantic points and get him, but I don't need to now. I know I've got full 25 lot of Mantic points and just waiting for something that I would use the Mantic points on because uh, everything that seems to be available for Kings of War for 25 or what's available for 25 points on the Kings of War um, range I've already got which is Morgoth the Faceless um, and I'm not sure as to whether or not I can actually split my points and get something for 15 and something for 10 or or what so I suppose if I can find find out what's happening I'll see what I can do but there we are that's those now I don't want to open the others because <clears throat> I mean this one I could do because it's an undead Thing, but I already have this particular um, model in my cavalry so I'm going to keep that separate for the time being I'm not going to open that look at it or anything because um, I know what it is I've seen it you've seen it um, anyway but let's have a look at what else there is uh, there is this. I think this could be for the Warpath universe. But I don't know what it is. I may just do this itself just for the sake of it being a nice model to do rather than it being um, one that ties in with one of my pre existing armies. But I'm not sure what faction it's from. It's not from a faction I actually collect. So it may probably be... What is it? Oh, I was trying to work out why there was an extra leg there and it's not an extra leg. <laughs> um, so there we are. I 
think it's probably Orkish in the, uh, Marauders I think they like to call themselves in the Warpath universe um, I'm not a great fan of the sculpts for the Mantic Orcs I'm afraid which is why I've not collected them um, the, the sculpts for the Undead Army and the others are brilliant but I don't know what it says about the Orcs um, they don't look right for, to me maybe because I'm so used to the Games Workshop Orcs um, and the way they look and being a big fan of the Orcs in Games Workshop um, I've got a fairly big Orc army for Warhammer 40k um, I think that I may need to snip that off, but no, it managed to break off itself. There we go. Okay, I think a little bit of melting needs to be done. You never know. There we are. So those are two lions featuring chainsaws. Yeah, how on earth do they eat? Very, 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 very strange models. I do like the look of them though. I do like the look, look of them. I'll put them back in this bag. And there are others as well. This one you've seen before is the big um, Enforcer Chaffee. Um, I've got one of these already. You've seen him. I'm not going to go into detail for that one. Uh, this one however is puzzling me, I'm trying to, I think this again is something to do with dead zone, it looks dead zone-y, I think it's one of the rebs, but again I don't want to be opening them all up because I think I I'm, I know which model it is now, but I'm not sure what it what it's called. And it is one of the rebs. Um, it's the one I think that has the there's two in here, and I think one of them is the one which has uh, holds its gun in its feet. I'm not sure. I rec I recognise the head of that one anyway. There's a head floating around in here that I recognise. There he is. And it keeps wandering off. Come on, head. Hang on. Can you see it? This is one that I recognise. I'm not sure what to do with these as yet. Um, I may put them up on eBay. Um, the same with these. I don't collect the elves. And I've had a look in the big box and I've no idea of what these are because they don't seem to be they're not listed in the book I've got. Uh, they may be on the website, I don't know. They probably will be on the website. I'm assuming they're all um, elves. Um, if, they're the dirt, if they're the Twilight Kin, I may have a look at doing these because at least with Twilight Kin I can use them alongside my undead army. But, there we are. Anyway, that's what I've got in my... Oh, there's these bits as well. Which again, I'm not sure exactly what regiment they are because it doesn't say in my big book. At least, not that I not that I can identify. But I will look and I will find out. But uh, these these ones do actually intrigue me. So I'm going to do some research and find out what they are, and uh, we'll let, let you know what they are in the little caption at the bottom of the screen okay so that's it from me for this uh, video hope you've enjoyed this i know there's been a bit of waffling going on and me not knowing what's happening and anything else and getting distracted but fingers crossed as i say you've enjoyed it so this is something that i've only recently found out about with Manta that they do these boxes every year so um I 
thought I'd give one a bash. £25, I think it was. We've got more than £25 worth of uh, stories. Um, it's the, the, only, the only thing I find that I've found. Not so much disappointing, but um, if they're going to put. Would have sent you the models out. It would have been nice if they'd have sent you the bases as well. But can't have everything. Can't have everything. Anyway, as I said, that's enough for me. I'm waffling again now, so I'm going to leave it there, and I shall see you soon. So until then, as always, take care. God bless, and bye for now.